everyone welcome back to my channel hope you guys are all doing really well as you can tell by the title of today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how you can actually create a beginner cryptocurrency portfolio i thought this video would be very helpful very beneficial to a lot of you guys starting out and looking to invest in cryptocurrency i know when i started out there weren't many videos around to help you know kickstart my cryptocurrency investing portfolio so i thought i would just share with you a very basic cryptocurrency beginner portfolio if you are looking to start out now a lot of these coins that I am going to mention is very reflective of the crypto coins that I've got myself so if you are interested then please keep watching now just a quick disclaimer before we begin I am by all means not a financial advisor everything here is my own personal opinion I'm just sharing with you the coins that I purchased when starting out and I just thought this would be very beneficial for anyone new starting out as well so let's get started now, when starting out, I watched a lot of YouTube videos trying to figure out what coin I should actually purchase. So you can sort of consider this video to be a consolidated version of my research and the coins that I purchased. Now, I was very much interested in looking into the projects behind these coins and why I thought they would actually do well in the future and, you know, how were they actually backed and what technologies were backing these coins. I did that research and, of course, I came across a lot of meme coins as well which we are not going to go through in this video because a lot of people usually pump and dump these coins and I mean it may be beneficial for them but for you you may just lose out on a lot of money and they're honestly just very risky so I would not even look into those meme coins like Dogecoin, um, Shiba Inu, things like that. I would not look into that personally. So, Alright now let's get started. So I'm going to jump on to SwiftX now. That is my preferred and trusted cryptocurrency exchange that I personally use as well. I do have a referral code if you are interested um, down in the description box below if you want to get $10 worth of free Bitcoin upon your verification. When you sign up with SwiftX, it's very simple, very straightforward, takes no more than two minutes and you are good to go. So I'm going to jump on to SwiftX now and I love that they've got a demo feature where I can show you guys how to actually purchase these coins on SwiftX and we can start off with a figure of about five thousand dollars i'm going to break down which coin i would personally purchase for a beginner portfolio so let's get started okay so once you click the link in the description box down below that will take you to the sign up page for swiftex so i'll give you a few minutes to go ahead and create your account and once you've done that, we are going to obviously log in and you are going to verify your details. Okay, so once we're logged in, the reason that we're going to go into the demo feature or the reason why I'm going to show you that I'm going to go on the demo feature is because I'm not interested in purchasing any more coins. I'm pretty happy with where my portfolio is currently at. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to toggle on the demo feature. Of course, you don't do this for yourself. You would need to obviously purchase it in real time with whatever funds you feel comfortable with. So today we're going to go ahead and I'm going to purchase about $5,000 worth of cryptocurrency. Now, the way that I'm going to go ahead and look into this is we are going to be purchasing about 25% of Bitcoin. The reason I say that is because I feel Bitcoin is a very stable, very strong um, cryptocurrency at this point and I feel pretty comfortable putting about a quarter of my investment into Bitcoin. Um, of course you don't have to agree with me but I think this is what works and what has worked for me in terms of you know setting up my beginner portfolio as well. And then the next 25% we are going to allocate towards Ethereum. I feel like Ethereum again is another project which I 100% believe in and all the technology backed by it I think is amazing. Not only that but it is obviously backing NFTs as well, um, which if you are interested, I can do a video on as well. So drop me a comment down below if you want to see a video about NFTs. I'd be more than happy to do that. So 25% will go into Ethereum. And then the next 40% that we've got, we are going to put it into coins that belong in the top 25 um, rankings or the market cap and then the last 10% we're going to be looking into a few coins that are outside of the top 25 um, market cap so let's go now you should be able to see my screen here so I'm just here on the asset list and you want to click on asset list because that will show you the coins in terms of their market cap rankings if I go ahead and now click on the demo on feature 
We can see here I've got about $12,000 to play around with, but we're going to work with $5,000 because I think that's a nice sort of small amount to begin with um, if you are looking to invest into cryptocurrency. So as mentioned, I said we're going to purchase about 25% of our $5,000 value. So 25% is about $1,250. And of course, I'm talking in Australian dollars. SwiftX is available for Australian and New Zealand users at the moment. So let's go ahead and make some purchases. As we can see here, we've got the rankings in terms of market cap. So we've got Bitcoin, which is first. So I'm going to go ahead on the green arrow and click buy. So this will then take you onto the screen where you can purchase your Bitcoin. Now, you can obviously choose to go about 25% of your portfolio, but seeing as my demo feature has given me $12,000, we're not going to go with 25% because that's 25% of your entire currency that you've got um, holding at the moment. I don't want to purchase 25% of 12,000. So I'm going to fill this in manually. And how we do that is we just put it in. So I'm going to go, $1,250 worth of Bitcoin instantly buy. It will take you through the rates, the fees. Um, and mind you, SwiftX has one of the lowest fees compared to other cryptocurrency exchanges. So I'm happy with that. We're going to confirm and buy that. And you should be able to see your Bitcoin here sitting in your balances now. So that's the first one that we're going to buy. Now moving on to the next 25%. As mentioned, we are going to buy some Ethereum. Now, now, if you want to quickly have a look at the asset list here, you can see that Ethereum is second on the rankings in terms of its market cap. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to purchase another 25% worth of Ethereum. So I'm going to manually enter that through. That is $1,250 instantly buy. Look through the fees. It's all good. Confirm. And there we have it. We should see now we've got some Ethereum here. Now we are going to go ahead and purchase the next 40% of our $5,000 beginner amount. Now this is for the top 25 coins. So if we go back to the asset list here, now I'm going to tell you which top 25 coins I personally purchased. Now if we have a look here, I went ahead with Cardano. Um, so we're going to purchase some Cardano. We are going to purchase some Binance coin um, and Polkadot. Solana at the moment has been pumping, so definitely going to purchase some Solana. We're going to go purchase some Chainlink. Um, I'm going to purchase some Polygon. And let's go ahead and purchase Theta, right? So this falls into the top 25%. So if we now calculate 40% of our $5,000 value, um, and if I'm looking at buying about seven or so coins, that's about $285 per coin. So let's go ahead and put that through. So let's start from the top. So we've got Binance coin or Cardano. Um, so let's go ahead and buy some Cardano. And it's about $285. So I'm just going to go ahead and instantly buy that, confirm. And you can, instead of going back all the way, we can just search from here. So now let's go ahead and buy some Binance coin. And again, another $285. We're going to instantly buy that. Perfect. And now we're going to go ahead and buy some polka dot. And you just want to go ahead and put these through. It's honestly very simple, very straightforward. There's a lot of coins to choose from. Um, there are over 260 crypto assets, which you can select from. So we've gone ahead and selected polka dot. That's done. Now let's go ahead and do Solana. Click on there, another 285. Let's instantly buy, buy. And um, the next one we're going to do is chain link. And it's honestly very simple, very straightforward. Instant buy. And we're going to go ahead and do Matic or Polygon. Another $285. There we go. I'm going to confirm. And the next one we're going to do is Theta. Or theta. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. But $285. There we go. And confirm. Okay. Now, in terms of the crypto assets I just recently purchased, this is all done off my personal research. And these are just projects which I have gone ahead and done some research into. Of course, you can look into your own ones as well. By all means, you don't need to go ahead with my um, selections. But if you are interested, then you can as well. Now, if we have a look into our balances, you should see our portfolio is looking very, very nice at the moment. So that leaves us with the last 10% to play around with. We're going to go ahead and look into the asset list now. So I think the last 10% is a little bit of a 
you know, you can just play around and figure out what you really want to get, um, things that really interest you. So let's go outside of the top 25 market cap. So we go to the next page here and let's have a quick look-see, shall we? So I think I'm going to purchase some pancake swap um, and I'm going to purchase some, some Kasama and let's purchase some sushi, right? So let's go ahead and do that now. So then that just means if I'm purchasing three coins, that's about $165 remaining so I'm going to purchase some sushi for 165 instant buy confirm your order and we can just search from here so we want to go to pancake swap um, another 165 dollars there and then the last one is kasama so I've got another 165 there and that is our final crypto asset that we're going to be purchasing so that makes up the first five thousand dollars that I will put forward if I was a beginner and this is a breakdown of the crypto assets that I would personally buy so as you saw there it's a very simple very straightforward um, I've now got these crypto assets to play around with um, you can track them see how they're going you can use your mobile app as well for SwiftX and view your crypto beginner portfolio on there and see how it's going um, let me know if you want to see a video on you know an update as to what this crypto portfolio looks like in the next month or so I'll be more than happy to do an update video for you guys but that's essentially it guys. That's a little bit of a beginner portfolio. If you're looking to start out and you don't really know what crypto assets to buy into, then these are just my suggestions and, and what I personally did when I started out. And I definitely have been putting in more money into a lot of these crypto assets um, as of recent as well. Of course, as mentioned, this is non-financial advice. You can take this on board if you like, follow what I do. If not, then that's also great. But that's essentially the end of today's video. As mentioned, guys, I do have a referral code down below where you get a chance to get $10 worth of free Bitcoin just by signing up with SwiftX. So if you want to do that, then click down below. It'll be on the top sort of lines of the description box and you'll be able to get yourself $10 worth of free Bitcoin. So that'll kickstart your beginner portfolio. But I really hope you enjoyed today's video, guys, and I will catch you in my next one. Thanks, guys.